Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Lee Pro Vending. Okay, I got 10 great tips that's gonna help you get started with your vending business. Okay, so number one is to create a business name and a business LLC. Okay, you're gonna need that when you're going out or you're setting up your bank account or anything like that. You have to have a, a, a LLC first before you even start really being able to do anything in a business form. Okay, so number two, okay? Research in your city if you guys need permits to put the vending machines in various locations, okay? Different states and cities have different requirements. So I need you to research that, Google it, start, you know, call your city, call somebody and just ask them questions before you start getting into the vending business, okay? If you need permits, get to permits. Don't try to, you know, <laughs> don't try to skim over that, you know, get everything needed because if something was to go down and you didn't have a permit, I don't know what could happen to your machine. You know what I'm saying? So just to cover yourself, just do the research, and if you need permits, get a permit. Okay. So, oh, back to back to question one about the about the business LLC. Okay, because they keep asking me about that. A lot of people on YouTube is gonna recommend. Um, I can't even think of that place that people go to to get LLC. You can come right here to Lee Pro Vending, and I'm gonna help you get your LLC. I offer all those services, okay? So come back to me when you want to set up your LLC. I'm not gonna recommend somebody else that I've never used. I'm just not gonna do that, okay? I know how to do it. I set up businesses. I have over five businesses. I set up businesses as a service for other people. I don't know if you guys know about my Lee Pro Luxury Home Solutions. I'm also a real estate investor. So I already know how to set up businesses. I'm also a filmmaker. So I have a film distribution company. And these companies are doing good. We make passive income. Just come back to me and I'm going to help you. Okay. Number three, let's go back to number three. I think I stopped at number two. Let's go back to number three. Number three, join groups, you know, get on YouTube, watch videos. A lot of people say join a Facebook group. I'm sure you should do that. I'm sure you should do that. You're going to be on there with like-minded people like yourself in the Vindy business. I personally don't have any Facebook group uh, people. I haven't joined any. Um, and that's only because, not because I don't think it's good and informational, because I do believe it is a great place to network, but I've been, I've been around vending machines forever. I don't know if you guys can remember back when jukeboxes was out. Okay. My granddad had a jukebox in his restaurant. He had a Pepsi machine in his restaurant. So I kind of been seeing these machines all my life. So, but back in those days, you just had the distributor's number and that was your connection. Now you can literally just jump on Instagram, jump on YouTube, jump on Twitter, jump on Facebook and kind of connect with these people. Get on Craigslist. You can find machines everywhere now. Google, offer up, they're everywhere. Okay, but back in the day, you had your distributor who came to your business locations and they offered you the vending machines, um, jukebox machines, all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, so yeah, just go ahead, join a Facebook group and, and just network with people. Okay, number five, I think I'm at if I'm not on five. I'm going to listen to the podcast and come back and add a number, another number, but I believe I'm at five. Okay. So once again, I'm hitting on where you can get your machines. Okay. Craigslist, Google, offer up. I also sell machines and I suggest to anybody starting out in the business. I know a lot of you guys like new machines and that's awesome. If you got the budget to spend two and three thousand dollars for a brand new machine, do it. 
but I'm gonna tell you a refurbished machine is just as good okay I don't mind the used machines but sometimes they got a little little problems to them and being you know just getting started you might not want us to just start working on machines you know yeah you're gonna be saving money but do you feel like working on them or finding someone to work on them you know I don't know but I recommend refurbished machines and yes I can help you get them but once again you can go on Craigslist you can Google you can go on offer up you can find vending machines if you really want them okay number six do not my own personal opinion as far as your location okay do not buy a vending machine without having a a location and the reason why I say that is because if you do go out and buy a brand new machine, what is it going to just be sitting in your garage until you try to find someone to have it located? No. So it's best to get the location first, then purchase the machine. Okay. And I'm also <laughs> a locator. So I'm a vending locator. So if you need locations, 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 I can get those locations for you. I can get it deliver your your vending machine delivered. I can get everything set up for you. Get get the contract signed. That's another thing. Let's go to uh number 7. I like contracts. When you do get your vending machine in your location, I suggest getting a contract with the business owner, you know? Put your, your rules and regulations, stipulations, whatever you guys negotiate, you know, whatever percentages you're going to give them, um, you know, put, put it in a contract, okay? In which you really can move this up sooner. I like to get insurance on my machines or my business or whatever have you. Because you're placing um, an expensive machine in these in these places, okay? And let's just say I, I seen this this on on YouTube. I never heard of it happening to anyone. It's never happened to me, thank God. Um, I guess somebody had ate some gum or something, or choked on something, and, or peanuts, or they was allergic to the peanuts or something, and I wanted to sue the vending machine company, which. If you're allergic to peanuts, don't buy the peanuts. I don't know. But something happened. To, anyways, just to cover yourself, get insurance. And once again, come back to me, Lee Pro Vending. We can help you get set up with insurance for your business and your vending machines. Okay? What machines to buy? I'm going to help you. Get started with some good machines. I'll tell you what machines to stay away from. Old machines um, that take coins or old machines that won't allow you to put up a credit card swiping machine. Okay? So make sure the vending machine that you get is MDB compatible. Because we want to be able to put that credit card machine up there. You want that money. Trust me, that's extra money. Everybody don't have cash on them. Okay? And also, you don't want to buy, I think it's called a Sega. S-E-G-A. I think it's a, a Chinese um, vending machine. Stay away from that. Do not buy that. And put, especially when you go on your Facebook groups or whatever groups you sign up with just start networking with people and asking them hey what kind of machine um should i buy they they're all going to probably say the good ones to buy like um i think is witten w i t t e n i think that's it a m s and i don't have the other names in front of me uh, but of course i can give you that just hit me up on instagram hit me back up here on anchor leave me a message i'll definitely get you all the information but they're going to definitely tell you do not buy a sega Okay, and do not buy some old machine uh, that doesn't take credit cards, that doesn't take bills. Okay, so the credit, the, the, the vending machines might not have a credit card machine on it at first. But as long as it's MDB compatible, we can get that uh, credit card machine on there. You can purchase it, I think, off 
eBay, in, um, Amazon, and just put it on yourself. It's very easy, okay? Or I can help you get that machine as well and show you how to put it on your vending machine so you can start um, getting credit cards, you know, as payments, okay? Number nine is repairing your machine. Yes, there's going to be people you can call, okay? You can even call me and I can kind of troubleshoot you through stuff and walk you through stuff. But really, guys, when you purchase a machine, it's got to be like your baby. I really want you to get on YouTube, Google, and just learn how to fix stuff yourself. Even if you were to hire somebody to fix it for you, I want you to know about the machine and so people won't try to say, oh, it's going to be this much. It's going to be that much. You're going to be able to say, no, I'm familiarized with the problem. I'm just not in the position to fix it. So this shouldn't cost more than such and such, you know, know about your product. I also sell computers. You know, I wasn't going to sell a Mac computer, you know, and this is a, my own personal um thing. I sell them through my business because I do startup businesses for people. And when I went and purchased a bunch of computers, I knew about the computers. I knew what I was buying. I knew if something went wrong with them, what was wrong with them. I knew how much they go for, how much parts go for. I knew everything about it. I'm not going to sell anything, anything without doing my due diligence, learning about that product, and knowing the good and the bad about the product, okay? Know about your product. Know about your vending machine. Okay, so we're going to be at number 10. Where do you purchase the chips, the candy, everything like that, that goes into the machines? Okay, I suggest you guys get a Costco membership get a sam's club membership those are really the only two people i go to right now i do hear that as others but i already had a sam's club membership i already had a costco membership before i even started my vending business so i just recommend you guys go there they got really good prices but yeah even the even the places that sell vending machines they also have supplies in there chips candy food they have everything in there so you might want to check out the prices in both in both places you know do your research you know um what's ever comfortable for you and your budget but realize guys things has to make sense right it has to make sense when you go to buy a box of chips and i'm gonna tell you why i do like costco they do have a box of variety chips right 50 chips for $12. You're selling your chips for at least a dollar a bag. So if you got 50 already from $12 to $50, look at your profit. So stuff like that makes sense to me. That's why I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with Sam's Club. I hear there are ch cheaper places, you know, but that works good for me. Sam's Club and, and Costco's is fine for me. But if I find some more places, I will either list them or on my Instagram, or you could just email me, text me, um, jump on here, leave me a message, and I'll get you some more uh, places that you can buy affordable, uh, uh, you know, chips and things like that to stock your machines. Okay? Great. So this has been the top 10 tips I can give you to, for starting your vending machine business. But I have tons more to um, share with you. So um, if there's anything you want to ask me, hop on Anchor, leave me a message, write me on Instagram, write me on YouTube, leave me a message. If you want to come on the podcast and talk about your vending machine business, you know, if you're starting one, if you're interested in starting one, if you used to have one but don't have it anymore, let us know. Share your information with us. Let's network. Okay? Talk to you soon.